I've just come back from a great holiday in Jersey and Guernsey and I also visited Sark uh, for a couple of weeks at the beginning of July. Uh, the weather was mixed and I was staying in a tent but I had a really good time. But one of the most interesting things was uh, learning more about Jersey and Guernsey. Uh, in the first place they were occupied during the war and the people there had a really tough time of it, especially after D-Day and they were isolated and there was a real lack of food but their spirit and the, the museums and all the rest of it is really quite moving when you see that. But the other thing too about Jersey and Guernsey is they're quite small places. Uh, Jersey has a population of some 85,000 and Guernsey some 60,000. But they are able to make their own decisions. They decide what the tax rates will be. They decide uh, what, what uh, speed people can go on the roads. They decide about the health service, all of these things. And in comparison to Scotland, they seem to be doing very well. So it seems to me, as I come back from a place like that, that I wonder well, what surely should Scotland should have more of its own decision-making power. Yes, we can make some limited decisions at the moment, but it would be so much better if we could make all the decisions ourselves as an independent country.